Hey you guys, all right, so the realest Sephora video, sale video that you're ever gonna see, I feel like all of mine are, when I talk about this sale, I am going to show you how to shop the sale smart, some of the best things you guys that, I mean, if, if, if you can save 20%, 15%, whatever you can save on these things, go for it. I'm gonna be real about Sephora, the point system, how um, I think it's even better now than some other stores that you always compare it to. Let's just say it. People always say, well, I like the one at Ulta. I like this, I like that. First of all, shopping smart. I would never just buy all from one place. That's why I'm here, you know, like, or why I like to share my opinions or my information with y'all because it's like sometimes it's, it's better to shop at Nordstrom for some things. Sometimes it's better to shop at Ulta. Sometimes I, th I can get things at Ulta I can't get at Sephora and vice versa. There's brands I can definitely get at Sephora that I can't get anywhere else or even at Ulta. And that's with every store. But when this sale comes around, take advantage of it, especially if you've bought anything there over the year and you're a Beauty Insider member of like any tier, you know, put that to use and save a little bit on something that you love, whether it's like an expensive moisturizer or like my favorite candles or just something that you can't get anywhere else or something that you can you know but that you can't couldn't save that much on um we'll talk about my hair in a second i'm on like my third day here. okay we'll talk um there's something else there's some hair stuff that i want to talk about too i'll put all the dates and everything below it starts today um, the three different tiers, you know, there's different days that you can shop, but the code is the same and I'll put all that below. So we're not going to get it all in. I mean, yeah, we'll get into details and stuff, but I, I mean, I'll put all that below. I really want to get detailed though about the products and oh my gosh, look at this nude blush. That's just that I found that is just like, I don't have it on today, but I'm going to put it on for you guys. That's like under eye powder. Just so many cool new things that I've gotten over the last month from Sephora. Just here and there. Cause I don't, I'm not like, oh, I'm going to do this huge Sephora haul and then have a whole mess of crap to show. Like I get, I'm just, just like real life. I'm buying things like little by little. And it just really worked out for this because I can show you some new good things. But then I can also show you what's in my cart. Uh, because obviously I am going to take advantage of that 20% off. Do you know what I mean? About the points, about everything, where Sephora is concerned, whenever I do these videos, I always get people that say, no, I'm gonna shop at Ulta because I can save this. I can use my points for actual money off. You can do that at Sephora now. So when you're checking out, instead of like using your points, you know, at the checkout for, okay, I'm gonna buy this little set or I'm gonna trade in, you know, 100 points for this or X, Y, or Z, whatever it is, a thousand, like I have so many points saved and I never would really ch trade them in for the little things. Like every time I check out, it's like $20 off, $10 off, $5 off, or you know, it's it's the same deal. So if that was something that bugged you, which that certainly always was kind of like, yeah, you know, I spent all this money here. You know, when I do, you know, it adds up. And I love, you know, the benefit of the two day shipping and stuff for Rouge so it can get stuff quick. This is not sponsored. I'm just honestly telling you guys the tips, okay? Shopping smart and why and how. Um, but you know, you feel like you're actually working towards something, right? So yeah, you get that shipping too, that's great. You know, I mean, if, if I have to order, it's the same as like ordering something from Amazon. You know, like I'm gonna get it like the next day or the next, you know, sometimes I get things like the next day. So I like that. If I order something from Ulta, shipping isn't always super fast there, okay? Um, it just depends. But then sometimes you have that convenience of, depending on how close you live to these stores, I don't know. But what I'm saying is, check it out. The different tiers are worth it if you're gonna shop and save the thing on the things that you like. Skincare, um, oh my gosh, I have so many things. Oh my gosh, so many things to share with you guys. So before we get started, um, I'll link to what I'm wearing. I don't wanna like spend too much time on that. I really wanna get into all of the good stuff. I've got so many makeup updates and I know I get a lot of comments from you guys saying like, you know, I wanna you know, do a makeup tutorial or get ready with me. And I'm gonna do that soon. I love just like using my new makeup, talking to you guys. I think that's kind of fun to see things in action. So we'll do one of those soon where it's just kind of fun and we're just talking about random stuff. Um, I am on my third day here today. Usually on my third day, my ends are a little dry. My second, I always have to wash by the third day. So I'll probably do it tonight. But there's a product that I wanna show you guys. Um, my hair is always in a ponytail so like, because my ends are a little drier on these days. And I'm fighting a trim. I cannot wait until all of this blonde is out, which it'll be a little bit longer because it's so much healthier up here and it just feels so nice. And um, I have a video all about hair coming soon, but I do have a few products in here that, we're ta that we'll talk about. So it might go up in a minute, but I, I did want to lean it down so I could. I don't know if I'm going to demo this. 
I, I might. Who knows? Okay. All right, let's get into it. So, like I said, all the details on the sale will be below and everything. And if you're a Rouge member, you can shop today 20% off. And then I think VIB is in a few days. And then Beauty Insider is in a few more days. And I think the whole thing lasts until the 19th. So, there's plenty of time to shop. You can do it over and over. There's one code. I'll put all that below, okay? I'll link to everything that I'm wearing. Um, also, you guys, in my last video, I mentioned obviously like a few things from Bobble Bar that I really liked. I don't know if I was wearing, yeah, I was wearing that little necklace that I love. Is it in here? No, I think it's in my closet. Um, but these little huggy hoops and um, they have these rings now that they're doing in like CZ so they're just much better quality like they're a lot more sparkly and sometimes I like to stack one of these or two of these like with my other rings or replace one with one that's a little different. I just think they're really fun but um, I stacked up these and someone asked about this ring the other day that looks like a little link that's from there also and I'll, I'll I have a code so I'll um, link to that but I really love this one I have been loving that little um, Chris that little diamond looking one so I'll put that all below because I've got a good um, code that'll get you a little more than normal and then also these little and I've I feel, I've talked about these and I feel like all my recent videos, but every time I do a photo on Instagram, I get DMs, I get questions of people saying, oh my gosh, tell me about your VCA earrings. These are not Van Cleef and Arpels or however you pronounce it, which are like two, three thousand dollars. Like they're very expensive. Okay. I also have a little bracelet coming that's like this. These, um, I said the other day, I believe they were 38. When I got them, they were, but I believe they're around like 48.50. So, um, I'll link to them. They are gold, you know, they're, um, I think 24 or 18 karat gold plated and mother of pearl. They are beautiful, okay? And just gorgeous. So I've been really obsessed with those. All right, so let's get into it, y'all. So my favorite candles in the whole world. This has surpassed, I think, my bay candle and, you know, things that just used to be my all-time favorites. This brand, the Overose. And I've got a bunch of the different um, scents and we'll talk about it, but these holographic candles, my house is pretty neutral and decor, but I love color. I love doing color and like unexpected things and cutesy little things. I love that this looks beautiful. No matter, it's like crackling a lot. Um, no matter where it is in my house. But when you see these a lot of times, you don't see people actually burning them and you can't tell how beautiful they are. Here's what one looks like not burned, which is quite different. I mean, it's pretty, you know, beautiful. But when there's something about when they're burning, oh my gosh, they're just like, rainbow gorgeousness and the anthurium is one of my favorites and all of the scents are very much in the realm of the diptyque bay i don't know how to describe it there go okay i will link to them sephora is pretty much one of the only places it's not the only place i could find it i bought my first ones at nordstrom years ago they don't carry them anymore if they do they're like there for like a hot second and then they're gone so i'm going to order all of these you guys, do you remember this mug from like the Missoni Target from, does that have the year on it? I think that was like in 2008 or something. It's my favorite, favorite mug. Okay. Okay, listen. So the different scents are good. Anamorphine is good. Here's what, they smell so much better as you burn them. I think my favorite scent is the New Des. The New Des I bought in the hologram version years ago first. I think I still have it somewhere. I think I just have a little bit more left because I just hate to burn that last little bit. But the jars, I kind of want to save, you know, I mean, obviously I always save pretty candle jars and use them for somewhere. But um, y'all, get these when you can find them during the sale, okay? But the new desk smells very good. It's very like rosy, creamy. It reminds me a lot. It's just rosy and creamy. And I like the ones that are this color too, where the wax is the color of the candle. I think that is beautiful. Like I said, if you want to get more in depth with the scents, and you can go, but I like that the scents aren't just like overly smell like this or that. They're odd. They're interesting. It's not like, oh, that's a peach candle. Oh, you're burning a pine candle or a firewood candle. They're just so unique. This one, the aesthetic, when I first got it, I was like, oh, that smells like grape jelly. Like, what is this? And I was like, okay, whatever. It's cute. Y'all, I think this might be my favorite one. After I burned it for a while, I don't know if it was like the smokiness or the, bur the burned wick. I don't know. Kind of mixed with it. It smells like a marshmallow, just like a sugary, delicious. And what is crazy about these is that the scents are soft, but they smell up your whole house. And like, that's that's big for me. Like sometimes I can light like the biggest candle and it doesn't smell up my house, but then I'll light like a really small, very, you know, 
quality candle it, it smells up the whole place so I just love it and they're not like hit you in the face but they just they make your house smell so beautiful and I think there's one or two that I haven't tried yet so um, I'll look at that in a minute and I'll tell you which one I'm gonna put in my car because I don't currently have one in my car I'm gonna get to some smart things in a minute to buy like iPad you know good eye patches and masks skincare things that you don't want to miss out on but a few like new cool little things this blush the Rose Riot by Iconic London it is so beautiful. It's everything I love in a cream blush. It is not sticky. It's like a beautiful, hold on, let me see, like a beautiful clear pink. It's just gorgeous. And it doesn't look sparkly. It doesn't look shimmery. I probably didn't put on quite enough. And I mean, I've already had some blush, but it's not blush, it's like a bronzer. But you can just kind of press it into your cheeks. It's like a, like I said, a clear, beautiful, glowy pink. And it doesn't feel like it's going to break you out because it's not like, look, this is so pretty. I mean, you saw it just layered pretty, perfectly over what I'm wearing already. But such a good product. Grab that. I just, I'm obsessed with that. And then this is cool. It comes in a yellow too for darker skin tones. But years ago, I would always use that Benefit Powder Flash. I'm talking like over 10 years ago. Like that was the best product. Benefit got rid of it. I loved it. It was a loose powder. But I would always, you know, I always have that line. And I do have a little, I mean, the tiniest bit of under eye filler that I got, like, I don't know, like a year ago at this point. I don't even remember how long ago that was. But I did, like, befores and afters, and I showed you guys, like, it just filled that little area right here. And um, I've been super happy with that. But sometimes, like, especially if my eyes get puffy or pollen, I get that little line that sometimes concealer can't cover because it's a textural thing but if you put a tiny bit of like a blurring powder on it but i it's, it's like magic but it has to be the right kind of powder because i will feel so crepey and dry if i put powder on my face especially my under eye but this stuff is so cool so i've never seen a container like this so it's got the little brush made in it's on a spring the powder's at the bottom and you just lightly do that and then you open it kind of mushed it too much maybe and um, I am wearing a little bit of it, so I don't put on a whole lot more because I don't really need it. But I just want to just show you guys what it does. So it was already on, so it's not like it's going to make a big difference. Um, but it's just really pretty. You can put it like in this little... But it's not like a drying powder. Do you know what I mean? And I like that it's just contained. And um, it feels so silky. It doesn't feel like a chalky powder, so that's cool. Okay, this... Foundation you guys the Clinique even better clinical. I do have like some surface like spottiness things that you know That the even better line from Clinique says it breaks up right like I use this moisturizer or is it every morning? I'm gonna this is in my cart. I'm gonna get some more the even better um, Skin tone correcting moisturizer SPF 20 it also comes in a lighter lotion version if you don't want to use the cream But I love the cream my skin has changed so much in the last two or three months, you guys. I'm so dry, I'm still breakout prone, but I'm very dry, so um, my skin's just changing, but I really love that. But it says that it breaks up the surface discoloration over time, darkness, spots, scarring, anything like that. So I kinda like the idea of using the foundation, and they had an even better foundation, I believe, but this is the even better clinical. This has salicylic acid in it also, and it's super similar to the acne solutions. So if you guys are more concerned with aging and I don't know, just, just try it. And it has SPF in it, you guys. It has SPF 25 in it, so I love that. Anytime I can get it. But I love the little egg-shaped um, container, the pump, and it's just great. Weightless, buildable, full coverage. Clinique, I think, does foundations. Some of the, the best of the best. And speaking of, I believe this used to be something you could only get at Sephora, and it might still be. And I've heard people that, you know, over the years, when I've talked about the, the Acne Solutions BB, they'll say, oh, well, I think I got the wrong one, or I got the foundation, or I got, or if I talk about the foundation, they're like, but wait, mine looks like that. So there's the foundation that I use all the time, okay? But then there's the Acne Solutions BB Cream, and this has SPF 40, and I live in this in the summertime. It is lightweight. It is like nothing but it is the most coverage but it's natural it's just crazy <laughs> and um, don't be fooled by the shade range I think there's might be like five or six shades but it goes very dark and I think there's only one that's truly like good for there and that pretty much will blend into most people the light is on this is the lightest one and it's almost too dark for me um, so if you're super super fair you might have a hard time with this 
or like any more lighter than like any more fair than I am but just trust me I do feel like it's a pretty blendable I just I think it'll work with a lot of different skin skin tones the different colors okay so um, okay so a few more things before we get into my Rex okay y'all this I'm obsessed with It's the fable in Maine hair oil stronger hair begins with healthy roots and like I said okay I especially in the summertime for swimming a lot and I, I'm definitely gonna wash my hair after that I feel like I just try to wash my hair as little as possible like if it's just a day like this and I'm like okay of course like if I swim later if I swim tomorrow you know I want to wash it then but I don't want to feel like waking up washing my hair every day just for no reason I don't know um, because when your hair is wet, it's more prone to damage, all that stuff, y'all know. But I always want to use really nourishing things, which I'm obsessed with my shampoo. Can't get that at Sephora, I'll talk about that later, but, um, it's actually, I believe, a part of the Like to Know It sale today, my Colleen shampoo. So go to my Like to Know It and get a deal. Um, I believe that sale starts today, so that's cool. But the, okay, the hair oil. So any product that's that's an oil for hair, I always struggle with a little, because I'm like, well, you know, I'm gonna be just like wearing this around the house, you know, or I'm, you know, I cannot go out with like hair oil. But this is a pre-wash oil, which is so cool. So you put it on, you know, all through your roots. Let it, I mean, even if you put it on like all day, like if I know, okay, I'm probably gonna take a shower tonight, well then I'll put my hair oil in, put my hair up, you know what I mean? But it just promotes like a healthier scalp, for stronger hair. Um, it has a really light scent. Really, I mean, I hate to say a light scent. Almost just like a clean, almost like no scent, but pretty, pretty good. I don't know. Or if you're prone to like dryness, which I do, I get like little flankies sometimes. This is good for that. So good stuff. And then I tried this, the Fenty Beauty, the body sauce. Comes in so many different colors. And I got the Honey Honey shade two. And I got, I was obsessed with this because I saw it online. I saw someone using it. So it's kind of like, oh, I should, I should. It's kind of like body makeup, but it's like, but it's like, makes you look a little more tan, a little like luminous. That gave my shoulder like some good color. And it doesn't, doesn't have like a smile. Like it feels clean. I mean, my hand looks like a tent now, but it feels clean. It's not like you're going to be wearing something that's like shimmery that's going to rub off on your clothes or it's going to feel like a lotion that's sitting on top of your skin. How pretty would that be like on your chest or on your legs in the summertime? So yeah, this comes in all different colors too. But, oh, I put the wrong lid on, that's sad. Um, but the Honey Honey, I thought, the, the lightest color to me I thought might be a little shimmery or too gold, especially if I get a little bit of color over the summer. So that's a good one to try. Okay, let's get in to the things that are smart to get right now. Listen, right now, stock up on expense, I don't wanna say expensive, but eye patches. I love an under eye patch. But usually they come, like, I mean, you're lucky if you get a set of 15, and they're, like, over $50 if you get a good set. You know what I'm saying? And I hate to say that. That's so expensive. And that's only, like, something you can use 15 times. Do you know what I mean? These, these Peter Thomas Roth ones, you get 30 sets of them. This is the one I've been using lately, the 24 Karat Gold, the Luxury Lift and Firm. I've also had the green ones. I've also, speaking of, I've got something from that. And I've also had the um, the Cloud, the Hyaluronic ones, which sometimes I'm like, ah, you know, they don't feel as wet, say, as like the Shiseido ones or some that you get from a pouch that has a bunch of serum. But if you're just wanting something to put on every day and not feel like, oh my gosh, I'm wasting this eye patch from a set of five that cost me a small fortune, these are great. You know, you just grab one every day, you put it on. And I do feel like I notice a difference, especially if I'm gonna do my makeup or you know, it's just a good little ritual. I don't know. I might have to put my hair up because now it's like driving me nuts. Um, but yeah, these are good, okay? So that would be nice. Because it is hard. I mean, you think, oh, you could find eye patches. The Shiseido uh, Benefiance ones, I'm going to definitely purchase those. Those are great. The ones that have retinol and that are actual, like, real skincare stuff. But these are great for, like, in the morning and to do, because I don't like to use the retinol ones in the morning. Okay, speaking of a few skincare things, a few Peter, Peter Thomas Roth things, which is funny. Um... Okay, this I always mention, the TLC Sukari Baby Facial. This is amazing. Like I said, I have drier skin, but it is prone to breaking out. I'm prone to like clogged pores and things like that. This is 25% AHA, 2% BHA, and I love it. I use it once a week, and it just literally exfoliates the linings of your pores. I mean, you just feel fresh, not dried out. I can't use really detoxifying masks or anything like that, um, but yet I want something that is detoxifying, but that also gives me moisture 
and I have really been into this. This is probably my third one, and I used like the rose one, and then I had a green one by another brand that I like that was similar. But grab this, the Cucumber Gel Mask Extreme Detox Hydrator. Refreshing, cooling, moisturizing, soothes, you know, soothes dry skin, whatever. This, you guys, I know it's just like, oh, it's like a basic green mask. Like you see that, but honestly, I can use this at night or in the morning. I could just slather the whole thing on. I don't have to feel like it's gonna break me out, like a creamy mask or something, because I need the hydration. But it also feels like it refreshes my skin. It does say it's like a detox mask. So I just really love it, you know, and especially with like the skincare fridges, which I have not bit that bullet yet. If I want to put something in the fridge, I'll just like put it in the fridge. But I kind of want to get one because I would love to put something like this in there. I think that would be really great. So um, tell me what you guys think about skincare fridges. Like, I mean, I get it. You know, there's a benefit there, but I just sometimes I'm like, mm, should I? I don't know. Let me put this back because it's like driving me nuts. Okay, a few more things that I already have that I love, and then I'll show you guys what's in my cart. Okay, speaking of masks, and again, like your skin just feeling like, ugh. sometimes when I do get out of the shower, I wanna just spray my face. I wanna use an eye patch, but I don't wanna put on like my moisturizer and my serums and all of that, because I don't want my eye patch to like rub it around, and I I'm just not ready to do that yet. But I don't want my skin to be drying out, because I think that's the key. Like when you get out of the shower or right when you wash your face and your skin is damp, you know, you've dried it off, but it's not like dried out yet. If I let my skin get past the point of just even sitting for 10 minutes without some moisture and it starts drying out, I feel like I'm going to break out. Like I, if my skin gets too dry, I will break out. Like it will start going nuts. Okay. What I know that's weird, but, and, and your stuff absorbs so much better. So if you can keep your skin kind of like moisturized during that, or if you're, you know, whatever, if you're in the tub, I always like to like spray my skin with something. Okay. The water drench hyaluronic cloud. This is such a good toning spray that actually does something. So many are just like water and I get, th I get that too. I really, you know, I like, there's so many that I like, but this one I feel actually does something. And it's just really nice, it's like a perfect little mist. Um, speaking of mists, y'all, I, I have been so obsessed with this. The Airbrush, Flaw Airbrush Flawless by Charlotte Tilbury. The um, sprays, I mean, I just, I really love a spray that it's moisturized, it's gonna make my skin look dewy, right? But it's gonna actually like lock in my makeup. I don't, you know, I don't think I like sprayed it on today, but it's the perfect little, like poofy spray, but what I like to do, so I'm done with my makeup, um, or you know, done with my under eye, I spray this on like my beauty blender type of sponge, um, and I spray it on the end, you know, kind of dab it off, and then I just dab it under my eyes, and it keeps my eyes from like creping or settling or wrinkling, it just is so good, and then I spray it all over everything, or you can spray it on a brush and just kind of choo choo So, I don't know, I really like that. I mentioned my moisturizer, but I am gonna, it's just such a good time, you guys, to get expensive moisturizers when you can save 20% on La Mer or 15% or 10% or whatever you can save. Do it. I, like I said, my skin is so dry. The, I like the one by Colleen as well, which um, is also a part of that, so not a part of, she doesn't sell it at Sephora, but that's a good one too. Um, but I like this one. It's unique, the La Mer Soft Cream, and I've talked about it over the years. It's very moisturizing. It's definitely a cream, but it's not like a thick cream that's just gonna like sit on top of your skin. You know what I mean? You need the tiniest bit. I remember when I first used to buy this, I would just blow through it because, you know, it's expensive, so you don't wanna do that. Because I was using it wrong. I would just scoop it out and rub it in like a normal moisturizer. This, you just dip your finger in, just the tiniest bit, and go like this, you know? And get it, it gets thin, and when it heats up, it's almost like an like, it's not an oil, but you know like when you rub an oil in your hand, do you know what I'm saying? And then you press it in, and it goes a lot further, it's so great. And yeah, I've been buying this for years. I got it on their um, PR list, which is like really exciting. They start sending me stuff, and I was like, I mean, I feel like I hit the lottery. They sent me this. So this is a product I've been buying for years. I didn't want to say, oh, and I have another one, and did not tell you that they fully sent it to me. But you guys... Um, this is a product that, like I said, I've been buying for years and I've used the cool gel, you know, they have, so they have the original cream, which is good, but it's a little too heavy for me. The soft creams, perfection. Then they have the gel and I felt like it was too light, like it didn't do enough for me. So the soft cream is a very good, even if you, even when my skin was a lot oilier than it is now, I really like that one too. 
Um, I'm gonna definitely get some more on my dry shampoo. I have really been into that. This is like pretty much all gone. And then if you guys have not tried this, the Way Heat Protection Spray. I very rarely will curl my hair, but when I do, this stuff is amazing. It's the best heat protection spray you're ever gonna use. It smells so good. The scent is so yummy. My lashes, y'all. I did a video about this. It was a sponsored video. I don't know if I even would have tried this had it not have been for that. But I've like fully fallen in love with it. When you first use a mascara, you know, you know it's good. But I feel like it's not rare because I do have a lot of mascara. I have had a lot of mascaras over the years that get better and better, like as you use them. And this is one of those, the Lancome Lashy Doll. I just love the little brush and I just. I, my lashes can look very scary, okay? They can look very long and spidery. I cannot take a mascara and like wiggle it up or then I'll be like, hey, I need it to be thicker at the bottom and then taper out, you know? I want them to look soft. And sometimes certain mascaras, that's hard to do, um, especially if you've got longer lashes. And this is so good because you can wiggle it like right at the base and they stay soft. Um, and then if you guys haven't tried this, the Armani Luminous Silk Eye Concealer. This, I have been obsessed with this, my second one, or third one, sec second one I think. I really am careful with my under eye area, I can't just use anything, I'm not just going to be piling on like, like a drying concealer, because a lot of concealers are kind of drying if they're made to like set and, and all that, and then I don't want to have to set some, you know, creamy concealer with powder that completely like, just what was even the point of using a nice concealer if you're going to cover up the finish and crepe it up with powder, you know? But this stuff is so good. It sets, it's beautiful, you don't need a powder. This one that I showed you guys isn't to set concealer. You could use it without a concealer, you know, because it has some color correctiveness to it. But it's truly meant to camouflage those textural, do you know what I'm saying? Um, but without it feeling like a powder. Cause sometimes I'll put like a powder or even, even that by Terry, the hyaluronic powder, I tried to use that again like a couple weeks ago because my eyes have been kind of puffy like with, like, you know, pollen and I was seeing a little puffiness. And I like it. It's, it's, it's a moisturizer, but it still kind of felt like, you know, this does not feel like that. So I really, really think that is a cool, great product. This is so odd. This is a, this is one of those that is probably honestly pretty old. Like I, like they, I got one of these years and years ago, okay? Like I got, this is very old. And when it came out, I was like, this is so weird. It's called Liquid Glass Radiance Make Skin Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. And this was like before the hyaluronic acid craze, you know? And it, it, it was kind of like, you know, you'd see people using it and they'd be like dripping it on their face and like, oh, it's like glass. And I kind of used it and I was like, I don't see that it's making my skin look any different. Cause that's what I thought. Like, oh, it's gonna make your skin look, but what it is, is it's a serum that has hyaluronic acid in it, and it does make your skin look more supple, especially if you're gonna use it under makeup, and that's what I do. So, um, I use you know, my skincare or whatever, if you use a primer, and then I just use a little bit, and I dab it in here, just right there. Like, where I could look creepy, or just where you could see like signs of aging, or anywhere. And I just think it makes everything else look so much better that goes on top of it, almost like a primer, but not. It's like a little shot of hyaluronic acid. It's really good. It's not like glimmery or weird. It's just a cool product. And I think it's um, something that I definitely would repurchase and be into. The Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows. I've been talking about these for years. It's all I'm wearing today on my eyes. And, oh my gosh, this is something else that would be great to pick up. So this is the color Bet. I literally just put on a brush, doo -doo -doo, or I put it on my finger. The Bet is really good. And then also the Marie Antoinette is my other favorite. It's a little bit of a cooler brown. So if you don't really like browns that show up a little, I like them to be a little bronzy, a little orangey sometimes. You know, if you don't want that orange tinge, then go to ten, tent. It doesn't sound right. Um, I think that's right, but it doesn't sound right. The Marie Antoinette is good. This is a good one too. But I just, I use the Bet the, mo the most often. And what I did for my eyeliner, you guys, I cannot believe I haven't, okay, so years ago, I used to always, I would use a pencil, and then I would blur it out. Or I would use a liquid, and I would dab, dab it with a little bit of a dark matching eyeshadow, just to knock that like harsh line off, because my eyes, I do have a lot of eyelid space, and sometimes a really harsh line of eyeliner can just look ridiculous, but I like it sometimes, 
but it's just hard. It's just okay. But this is my favorite. This this eyeliner will last you forever. So you might think, oh my gosh, it's expensive. It's the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. It's like two in one. So one end is sort of like a brownish blackened end. It's pretty. I mean, it's not. A, don't say, oh, I don't like brown because that's what I'm wearing today. It's what I'm wearing most days. This is like a dark, dark black on the other side. My last one lasted me a shameful amount of time. I want to say like two years or something, which is way too long for an eyeliner, usually you're replacing eyeliner anyways. But this is so so good, I think, for the price. It's, it's more expensive, but you're going to have it longer, and the product is so much better. But what I've been doing is, like, I don't have on anything, anything to smudge it. I literally just smudged it with... Um, a brush, just get a pointed brush, or even like a Q-tip or something, do the line, and then I took it and just did this, and it smudged out like a flipping pencil, which was crazy, but it's set, but it's a liquid liner, but then it, like, but usually if I would just do that, or if I would just use it without smudging it, it sets, you know, so, but I've never done that with a liquid liner before, because usually you can't, but it's just such a soft, beautiful product that just blend it out so well. So that was kind of a new cool way to wear this. And now I'm like obsessed with this because that's the only time I'll, you know, I'll reach for a pencil because I want a look like this, but I still want that little defined, you know, flick or whatever. Or sometimes I'll use a pencil and then I'll go over it right at the lash line with a, with a liquid. So I was really excited about that. But let me tell you what is in my cart, okay? Because like I said, I'm filming this on Thursday. I want this to go up hopefully tonight or tomorrow morning. One of these, my um, skin tone correcting moisturizers. I have my Lancer Method Polish. I've used so many different scrubs. I just, I love all of them, but I always come back to this one. It's a good one. And I, you know, I've been using other things and I just haven't repurchased that in a while. So I might even go crazy and get two because I think it was on sale anyways. That product has been, because it's already showing but that product, yeah, it's $15 off right now anyways, without the sale. Maybe tomorrow they'll remove that. But but if it's but if I but if it's like because it's normally $75, if it's $60, then I get 20% off of that, that'll be pretty good. The Kate Somerville anti-back, I it's in my little cabinet, but it's just like magic. It's a lotion that has benzoyl peroxide in it. If you are prone to breaking out, I use it morning and night. Your skin will get used to it. Start off once a day, but that stuff is just like magic. Um, and then the Way Super Dry Shampoo, and then, oh, my, um, my Shiseido, my Sh and I'll, I'll link to all of these things below, because I know it's kind of hard, um, my Shiseido Wrinkle Eye Patches, so see, you get 12 packs for $70, that is so, like, if you use once a week, I mean, that's 12 weeks, but still, it's like, and I want to use it more than once a week, see, like, and even... Okay, and then, like, look, every, okay, so with your points, let me just tell you, every 500 points is, like, $10 off. Oh, my gosh. Oh, they, oh, my gosh, I had spelled it wrong. I was like, do they not have these dang candles on those? Like, honestly, you guys, okay, I've never tried the Nymphol, do I have Nymphalia? I don't think I've ever tried the Nymphalia or the Val, Valkyria, Valkyria. So, see, like, some of them are pink, and some of them, like, the Anthurium comes in the, hologram version like I showed you or the pink so it just depends but the hologram is so pretty and then the nude s say if you're going to start off maybe do the nude s and the nude s comes in hologram or pink you for oh I haven't tried that one you you for is you phrase I cannot pronounce or a flown and Gaia silk oh I thought I only had like one that I haven't tried I haven't tried Gaia silk and I haven't tried or flown the aesthetic is really good Aesthetic I wish came in the hologram version because I really do prefer the hologram, but I something about this purple I really like I'm not a purple kind of girl, but I really like that purple and the pink is pretty too It's not like a bubblegummy pink. It's like a pretty pink that you could really use anywhere Ooh, the Gaia silk says it's Palo Santo white chocolate smoky vanilla. Okay, add to basket Gaia silk. I need that. I love Palo Santo and the Oriflone Citrus and fruits. That's what I was gonna say. I feel like all of mine are kind of in the same family. They're like yummy, rosy, vanilla, sugary. And I'm like, I've never really, you know, it's not like they have like a citrus or this, that. Well, they do. Okay, so the Oriflone is like, it says cherries, citrus. Yeah, the aesthetic. This one that I said smelled like a big marshmallow. Um, so it says keynotes of almond milk, amber, vanilla, centaur, and May rose. 
Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just, hold on. And then Aura Fl I don't want, I don't think I really want this. I'm not like a huge like citrusy candle person. The Euphor, Euphoraise Me. Warm croissant, cranberries, cran brulee, and rose water. I'll get that. I'll get that one. But the new desk. What is the new desk? Sure, that's my problem. Roses and rain. That's my favorite one. Ooh, Valkyrie. Okay, I don't have Valkyria either. Fig leaves, vineyard peaches, cocoa milk, and cedar wood. I want that one too. I can't just buy like three of these candles. This is so stupid. Okay, I'm gonna have to edit. But do I? Because it's on sale. <laughs> Oh, my eyes are watering. I am like, are you guys, the pollen is just killing me. My allergies are like kicking like never before. Okay, I'll put all of the sale details below, all of the details on everything that I showed. Like I said, stock up on your favorites. This blush, you guys, is a must try. Ooh, the Fenty stuff, so good. I just feel like there's a lot of good things to try. And also, like I said, shop smart. If you have a moisturizer that you know you love, get it when you can get it on sale buy things that are normally a little more pricey i don't think i ever buy this when it's not on sale i only buy it during the sales and that's really i want it, like the most of the time when i shop at sephora like if there's something that they have they don't have anywhere else like when i order those candles or something you know i'll shoot an order in here and there and some of this new stuff like i was just excited you know i was like i want to try some new things and so it is fun to go on their um their app and just like browse the new stuff that's a good way to get your eye patches. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Okay. I have this sitting out and it was behind the foundation. Okay. This is like my third one that I've had of these. The Pericone Eyelid Lift Serum. I use this twice a day. I feel like it's just, it does amazing things for your eyelids. If you feel like you're crepey or you feel, you know, and you don't want to put your eye cream right there because I get the little like white bumps if I put something too rich right there, like I always have. This is made for that area and you can even use it under your eyes. It says it's really good for darkness. So I'll, it's thin, you know what I mean? It's not gonna be greasy. I put my makeup right over it every day. It's just perfect. It's the perfect like little priming thing. Um, but you can kind of like put it under your eyes too and then put your eye different eye cream over it if you want. The eyelid lift serum you guys definite must try um okay so i'll link to everything you guys I'm trying to think of anything else fragrances we did not even touch on fragrances but y'all get the gist if there's something that you like because you very rarely can get fragrances on sale so that's good but anyways y'all i'll let you go thank you for watching happy shopping and i'll put all the dates and everything below again the code and um as as, as well as my code for the jewelry, links to everything that I'm wearing. Love you guys so much. We've got so many fun things coming up. Brad and I have something cool planned and um, just a lot of things that I'm excited about for the rest of the year. I don't know, I was going to say for this year. I was like, God, we're already into April. <sighs> so I do feel I do feel like lately things have been kind of going by pretty fast. But anyways, y'all, love you so much. Thanks for spending the time with me today, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye, y'all.